Hello guys, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if it helps in your learning. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that a particle travels along the curve from A to B in 2 seconds. It takes 4 seconds from it to go from B to C and then 3 seconds to go from C to D. Determine its average speed when it goes from A to D. So now as we know that the average speed is equal to the total distance traveled divided by the total time taken. So S total divided by T total. Now we have to find the S total, right? So the, the particle first travels from A to B in 2 seconds. So it is the circumference of a circle uh, and it is the circumference of a quarter circle, right? So we can write that SAB, the distance traveled from A to B is the circumference of the quarter circle. So the circumference of a complete circle is 2 pi r. Now the r from for A to B is uh, 10 meters, right? So this is 2 pi into 10 and this is the circumference of the complete circle like this. But the particle travels for quarter circle, so we need to divide it by 4. So this is 2 pi r divided by 4. Similarly, the distance traveled from B to C, the distance traveled from B to C is the straight distance, this straight distance which is 15 meters, this is 15 meters. And similarly, again the particle travels from C to D, but uh, again it's the circumference of a quarter circle, but the radius of the circle is now 5 meters. So we can write it as CD, this will be equal to 2 pi r, which is the radius is now 5 divided by 4 since it's the circumference of a quarter circle. So this will give us um, 2 into 10 is 20 and 20 divided by 4 is 5, right? So this is 5 pi. Similarly, uh, this is 5 pi meters, this is 15 meters and this will be uh, 2 into 5 is 10 divided by 4. 10 divided by 4, this gives us 2.5 pi, this is 2.5 pi. Now the total distance traveled is, we can say that the total distance traveled is SAB plus SBC plus SCD divided by the total, dis, uh, the total time. So now from A to B it takes 2 seconds, then 4 seconds and then 3 seconds, right? So we will write 2 plus 4 plus 3 and now we know SAB so SAB in this equation SAB is 5 pi so let me write that this is 5 pi this is 5 pi the SBC is 15 meters and SCD is 2.5 pi so this is 5 pi plus 15 plus 2.5 pi divided by 2 plus 4 plus 3. So this gives us the average speed equals to 4.28 meter per second. Now the next problem is uh, problem 1276 and again it is said that a particle travels along the curve from A to B in 5 seconds. So the curve from A to B has a radius of 20 meters. So the particle travels uh, this distance, this from A to B curve distance in 5 seconds. And then it takes 8 seconds for it to go from B to C. So from B to C it takes 8 seconds. And then from C to A it takes 10 seconds. Right. So, so we need to find and the average speed when it goes around the closed path. So the closed path is from A to B, B to C and then C to A. So this is the closed path. So we have to find the average speed for this closed path. So now again we know that the average speed will be the average speed will be the total distance traveled divided by the total time. So now again the total distance traveled will be the summation of the distance from from A to B, from B to C and then from C to A. So now the distance traveled from A to B is again uh, the circumference of a quarter circle which has a radius of 20 meters. So we will write 2 pi into r 
which is 20 divided by 4. So this will give us 10 pi. This is 2 into this 2 into 20 is 40 and 40 divided by 4 is 10, right? So we will write that this is 10 pi meters. Similarly, the distance traveled from B to C is the hypotenuse of this triangle. If we consider this right angle triangle, then B to C is the hypotenuse. So we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So then we can write that as BC will be equal to 30 square plus this is 30. The base is 30 and the height is 20, the radius of this uh, quarter circle. So that is 30 square plus 20 square under the square root. So this is 30 square plus 20 square and this gives us 10 square root 13 meters. And similarly the distance traveled from C to A is the straight distance. This is from C to A and this is 30 plus 20 right so this is total distance traveled from c to a is 50 meters now the total distance traveled is the summation of all these this is 10 pi plus this and plus this so this is 10 pi plus 10 square root 13 plus 50 divided by the total time taken so so from a to b the particle takes 5 seconds then 8 seconds and then 10 seconds so 5 plus 8 and plus 10 so this is this is 10 pi plus 10 square root 13 plus 50 divided by 5 plus 8 plus 10 so this gives us 5.11 so the average speed is 5.11 meter per second when the particle travels around the closed path right from a to b from b to c and from c to a so the average speed is 5.11 meter per second so this is the solution of these two problems i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning